Welcome back to Studio Chatter. If you're into competitive shotgun shooting, then you know about the Spanish Fork Gun Club. But for the rest of us, what's going on up there? Let's <laughs> welcome Jenny McGowan, the director of the Gun Club, to the table. Welcome. Hello. Thank Hello. you guys for having me. I feel like I need to go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right? Something like that, yes. Well, we Gosh. had Jenny come talk to the city council a couple months back, and I was so impressed that you're a woman running the gun club. It just seems like a man's, a man's world, thing, right? right? So I'm like, Jenny, come visit us. I said, just tell us the story, and then we're both like, whoa, how did that go? So oh. a little bit about me. I didn't grow up shooting. A lot of times kids start. I grew uh -huh. up in a family that had guns, and we loved guns. But whenever time, any time we shot trap, I was always the one that threw the clay targets. That was oh, my job, okay. right? Really? So the boys could always play, because I played softball growing up. But when I was in college, I had a gun um, that I won at a, some contest from Ryan Devinish um, that's now passed away. And I took the gun to the range in Logan and showed up and asked the old guys there to teach me how to shoot. Mm -hmm. And this is in college. You're so this just was like, in I'm college. Go shoot. I was okay. 25 when I started. Wow. 24, 25, mm -hmm. and I just, I had no idea what I was doing. I had, the gun was in pieces. It hadn't been put together oh, yet. I didn't know oh, what I was okay, doing. Okay, that was scary. Oh, yeah. wow. And the guys told me to bring 100 shells the next day, and I said, 100? Like, who shoots 100 shells? Right. I had no idea. No oh. idea what I was doing. Oh. Mm -hmm. But long story short, they kind of took me as their clay and molded me into this shooter. And then I came back to Spanish Fork where I've grown up my whole life and I just wanted to keep going. So I started competitively shooting 10 years ago now. Wow. My heavens. And all of my first happened at Spanish Fork Gun Club, my first 100 straight, all of my goals, wow. I reached there. And I met my husband on field six. So it's a special <laughs> place. <laughs> but yeah, oh my gosh, he's a I very quiet guy. And the first words I ever heard him say was pull. He did oh, okay. Job. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm the mouth, he's the brains. That's oh, perfect. Okay. You need a good. Yeah. And yeah. that was 10 years opposite. ago. Or, I no, met that's... him, I think, don't, nine ish years ago. He knows all the dates. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. He's the brains. Wow. Yep. Right? Yeah, that's hey, true. So you, you were just doing this as fun, for fun. It was fun. How did it ebb and flow into now you're running the gun club? So I was able to shoot competitively, travel around the state. I was able to go back to the World Shooting Complex and wow. compete um, several times back there. It's Kind of like a world championship, per se. Where is that? That's in Sparta, Illinois. Okay. So I got to go and travel and see different shoots as a shooter. And then I was able to start a youth team here in Spanish Fork. And the reason I started it is I was traveling around. And a mm -hmm. lot of other states have a lot of youth participation. Okay. And I love Spanish Fork. So Spanish Fork is a premier facility. And if you say Spanish Fork Gun Club in the trap shooting world, okay. it's kind of everyone's Disneyland. It's people. Which is crazy. Stacy was telling us this and I was like, No, it's what? a it's We're a nationally it's a nationally ranked facility. I've shot with people from Uruguay, Brazil, all over that travel crazy. to little Spanish Fork just to be here. Why? I mean like what's, what I mean <laughs> but, so, what, but what sets it apart? I mean we so know the why target We're cool, but. so a target flies differently okay. on elevation, humidity. There's a lot of things that play into a well-presented target. Mm. And Spanish Fork Gun Club does it all. Mm. The targets, they say, look like dinner plates. They're that beautiful, that big. Um, and in gun clubs, as you travel, your goal is to shoot 100 straight always. Mm -hmm. But off the 27-yard line, that's when you move farther back. It's close to impossible at gun clubs. Okay. Spanish Fork has had hundreds of people do it. It's most gun clubs maybe have once or twice. Spanish Fork mm -hmm. is premier. Wow. So it's the way we shoot them, our it's, facility, it's everything. Like everything. The facility, the machines, the backdrop, the elevation, humidity, everything. It's just all these pieces that come together for the perfect target, which we have here. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine, because it's so windy here. I imagine mm -hmm. like sometimes yeah. it's just blowing, but it's just tucked it's just enough, beautiful. right? Yep, that it's just a perfect. beautiful facility. And our gun club um, has grass and established trees, and a lot of gun clubs don't. Mm -hmm. They're dry and rocky, mm -hmm. and it's gorgeous. It's beautiful with beautiful backdrop, beautiful background. The and backdrop, the view is yep. awesome. So tell us how people, the average Joe, or people that do shoot guns but don't know much about our gun club, how they can participate up there. So something that we have that's new that I started 
started, it's called the First Shots program. So if you've never touched a gun before or you have a gun that grandpa gave you that you don't know how to shoot, on Wednesdays at six and Saturdays at noon, you can show up for a first starts pro or a first shot first shots program okay. where okay. we teach you everything you need to know from safety to how to stand, how to shoot. This is how your gun works. We have guns for rent. We have ammo if you need to buy from us. We can show you the gear you need, the glasses you need, everything like that to get started. Mm -hmm. So you can come and it's a judgment free zone. I remember my first five straight. I remember my first 25. I remember my first hundred. I remember all of the beginning stages. Mm -hmm. It's a fun group mm -hmm. that there's no judgment. Just come play. Mm -hmm. I love that. Do they need to sign up online or anything? No, nope, you can, can just, just show, show up. up. Oh. Just show up. And then we have instructors there that will teach you and all the gear if you need the gear. Okay. Awesome. What else are you guys offering up there? So there's always something fun. Yeah. <laughs> if you check our Facebook, the website, we have shoots all the time. We have a date night coming up in June where you can come with your spouse, have a fancy steak dinner, for mm. my husband. Mm. and then you come and shoot. And then you don't have to be a good shooter because we have a competition that helps you if you're not a great shooter to have your spouse. He's really help good. You shoot. I'm okay. You're good. Yeah, you I'm killed some big game. This is the perfect place then. <laughs> so who wants to? Not go to a gun club. The husbands are like, yes, right. let's go. And, and you provide steak dinner. It's a steak dinner, yeah. Oh, that's catered such steak a fun dinner, date. dessert, all the fun, fun stuff. And okay. so they sign up online with that. Um, yes, there'll okay. be an RSVP that you can just sign up for. So when I go wow. up there and you drop kids off at the res, and <laughs> there's lots of trailers. Yes. And mm -hmm. lots of people. What yes. does that indicate? What's Usually going on? that's when we're holding an ATA shoot. An ATA is when it's kind of the more competition factors where you mm. have people traveling in from all over the nation that are coming to shoot. And we usually shoot about 300 targets a day on those shoots. Wow. And okay. they usually last a two to three day shoot. We just had one this last weekend where we give out silver coins and things like that to winners. Okay. So is that, so downrange, is that is that the little trap house? Is that? Yes. Okay, so yep. and how many are there? So we have 13 trap houses. Okay. And then who yes. volunteers to go and say, you know, pull or? So we or... have <laughs> awesome, awesome staff. Okay. So they're usually the ages about 14 to 18, and they're scorekeepers and fillers who help maintain the trap and help maintain and score so everyone can shoot and have fun. Wow. I just, I'm just blown away that we're like one of the tops. It I doesn't know. surprise me because yep. Spanish work is so great. Yep. But I've been, we've been up there and shot once. I've shot with Olympians. Yes. <laughs> it is a draw, like, and the funny part is people live in Spanish work their whole life and never step foot up there, uh -huh. right? But I've shot next to Olympians. I've shot next to some of the best in the entire world in Little Spanish Fork. Wow. Yeah. So it's a pretty cool thing that we have here and something that we offer. Mm -hmm. So what are you most proud of? Of what? Of the gun like, club? Like, no, like your biggest accomplishment. Um, my last year I competed, I had some big goals. I wanted to be a 27-yard shooter. That's as far back as you can go. Okay. I wanted to be double A in singles, which I made. I wanted to be a, um, a state champion. So you, there's one time a year that you get the opportunity to shoot against all of Utah and to be mm -hmm. a champion, and I was a state champion. I wanted to be the best female shooter in Utah and be the ladies' captain, and I was the ladies' captain. And I wanted She's just to accomplishing all of our goals. <laughs> uh, I wanted to trophy at the Grand American, and I shot and tied with the best woman in the world. <gasps> and Jenny. I lost her the next day, and I don't care. Oh, I can say wow. I, I tied with Deborah OEA. I'll take it. Yeah, um, that was really all of my neat. goals. But I had in the back of my head. I this sounds silly. Everybody has their dream job or wants their dream job. Mm -hmm. My dream, dream job for the last probably seven years was to be able to run Spanish Work Gun Club. I <laughs> wanted that kidding? so wow. bad. Yes. So you just waited for the opportunity I, and it did, when and someone... I came up and it, all the stars aligned. I teach concealed carry okay. and that kind of fun stuff. So I didn't have a full-time job. I had my business. Mm -hmm. So it came up and it was perfect timing. And oh, I wanted that job so bad. So I am like, <laughs> that sounds silly. No, it's no, awesome. that's amazing. But being it's Garth so Brooks' cool. personal assistant, oh, I would do that. that. <laughs> you know, that's second. Oh. But really, running Spanish Fort Gun Club, because being a shooter mm -hmm. and then able to coach the youth team for so mm -hmm. many years, I've been able to travel and mm -hmm. see different facilities and things I loved about shoots and things I wish that were changed and, you know. Yeah. And now I get to do it at a facility that I love. I want one or I don't want to manage any facility, doesn't know where, yep. except for Spanish mm -hmm. Fork. 
I would not want to be on any other city council except <laughs> Spanish Fork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love, just something about, I love, love, love my job. Love it. So it's a privilege. It doesn't even feel like a job. So like I have it, a question. Like our family, hunters and shooters, we have guns. If we want to come up as a family, is that any time? Absolutely. Okay. So Anytime. what are the hours? Or? So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is from 4.30 to 8.30 and Saturday is from 10 to 2. And you okay. can come anytime. You don't have to make reservations. You can just come with your family. We have lots of business parties, family reunions. We do all kinds of stuff. And you can just show up. Yep, to show up. But all the hours with, and everything are on the website. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. And if you say, hey, we have a family reunion Friday. We really want to come. Let's just a $100 opening fee and the facility is yours. Oh. And you can just play. We do a lot of business parties, it seems, because it's a good place that mm. you can go. And we have pavilions and catering okay. options and everything so that it's much cheaper than going somewhere else. Right. Jenny, wow. this was so fun. Oh, yes. Thank, Thank you, you for having like everything about this. It's a treasure, like a yeah. gem it up is. there on the hill. It is. Best of luck. I know it's going to be a success under yeah. your watchful I eye. I love it. It's fun. Thanks, Jenny. Thanks yeah. so much. Absolutely. It's time to open your history books. Stay with us for the fun.